So this exhibition, it uh, continues the, the work series uh, changes and uh, like there are some works from uh, from this series as well and uh, and now the changes has uh, turned to possibilities and uh, and also there's this uh, new element which is uh, ceramics which is a new media for me and this is the first time that uh, it is exhibited publicly this oval uh, shape it uh, unites all the works, also the uh, ceramics and uh, paintings, together. And uh, it's, it comes from this uh, gesture, from my hand. It's a natural movement. And it makes me think of this uh, like never-ending uh, circle of uh, life, like this uh, engine that drives everything to go on. They, they might be like, uh, you know, like a portal because the sh shape and everything suggests just like a, something like a portal or shall I say it's like a gateway or, or a line between this uh, inside world and the outside world. And uh, yes, from, uh, from one, one side you can see this uh, reality, which, you, which is what you see, like real life. And uh, on the other side is this abstract part or this uh, spiritual part. And uh, yeah, these are the both things that, that uh, lives inside of me as a, as a painter. There's this uh, landscape uh, moment that is really like close to me. But there's also this other part, which is this uh, undefined part, which is, uh, which is, yeah, which is full of possibilities. You can find anything in there. I like this, uh, this saying that uh, Laris Strunke, artist, said that Every painting is abstract, but if it's done realistically, you can't see it that is abstract. And I really kind of like this uh, funny saying, because it's... Uh, I don't like to categorize, like, this is abstract, this is realistic, because it's actually, it's like, all the same. <laughs> it's just a painting, it's just an art piece. I wanted to make something which is not painting, on canvas for a long time, but I couldn't uh, find this uh, this media that could work for me. But I had this affection for uh, for, for porcelain because of its uh, like shiny uh, characteristics, like this, uh, and there's this element of light in it because it's so white and and translucent almost kind of, and uh, and I kind of like it and that's what I use also when I paint on canvas, the, the white surface underneath it. I can't paint on something colorful, it must be white. So when I imagined that this porcelain could be the thing for me and uh, so yeah, and I, I like the idea of, that we can work with your hands and uh, yeah, and I just thought I'll give, I'll give it a try. And then, then I started uh, these uh, trials and <laughs> it was uh, not that easy, and because this, uh, it was like I had to paint blindly almost because these uh, ceramic underglaze colors, they like change uh, dramatically when once they are burned in a kiln. So, so it was a bit like at the beginning, I felt like I have to paint like from my imaginations. Of course, in the process, I get used to it. I, I get to know the the dynamics of how the colors changing and. Uh, Somehow I managed this, uh, this result at the end, yeah, but uh, it was an uh, interesting experience. And it was uh, actually, yeah, it was nice after that to, to go back to this uh, painting, like a normal painting on a canvas, because it felt like so, so nice that you can see what you're doing and, and the result is there after some moments and uh, there's no surprise elements, which is nice, of course, if, if the surprise element comes out okay, as, as you expected. <laughs>